Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to calculate hydrostatic force on a valve. So here I have a pipe system with a pressure gauge and a valve, and we have two ends of these two pipes that are normally joined together, and there's some fluid running through them that exerts a pressure on the valve, and we can measure this pressure on this gauge. Now if we look at a cross-section of one of these bores, we see that the bore will have a diameter, which I denote by capital D. And what we need to know is the specific weight of the liquid that is flowing through these pipes. The specific weight is given by the Greek letter gamma, and it's equal to rho times g where rho is the density of the liquid and g is the gravitational acceleration. So if we consider a liquid being water inside of here, water has a density of 1,000 kilograms per meters cubed. The gravitational acceleration will assume to be equal to 9.81 meters per second squared. So when we multiply these two together, we get a specific weight of 9,810 newtons per meters cubed. This is a unit of force divided by a unit of volume. Now the hydrostatic force will be given by the pressure times the bore area. The bore area can be determined just by knowing the diameter of a bore. So, we have pressure times pi, the diameter, divided by 2 to give us the radius, squared, pi r squared. If we assume for the purpose of this example that the diameter is equal to 50 millimeters, and if we assume a pressure exerted by the fluid, the water in this case, equal to 1 kilopascal, which is equal to 1,000 pascals, then when we plug in these numbers into our hydrostatic force equation, we get a hydrostatic force of approximately 1.96 newtons. So this would be the force felt by the valve due to the pressure of the liquid, the water flowing through this pipe. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to determine hydrostatic force on a valve.